Hey guys, it's TechAFA, and have you guys been looking for a software solution where you can view all of your system information on one simple location, such as your RAM, GPU, and CPU usage, and temperature? Well, NZXT has a program called CAM. Well, you can use Task Manager for some of this, but I think this NZXT program works very nice. And it gives you a little bit more, I think, in my personal opinion. But anyways, let's get right onto the video. Okay, down below I will have a link for the installation if you decide that you want to download this. Okay, so when you first open Cam, it brings you to the PC modern side of things. So this is the part I would use the most. If you have NZXT products, you'll find this application so much more useful as there's more things I will show you guys later. So right off the bat, after opening this application, you can see that it shows you stuff about your CPU, GPU, RAM, network, storage, and even your top processes. For your CPU, it shows you your temperature, which mine is running at 34, 35 degrees, which that's good. You don't want it over 120, I believe. I don't know why it's that low. I don't know if it's a concern. I might have to check more into that. You can tell your clock speed of your CPU. You can even tell the speed of your CPU fan, which that's all really nice. In case you're wondering, is my fan running as fast as it should or is my CPU about to overheat? It gives you all this detail just at a quick glance but you can also click on it and it'll give you basically the same information just a little bit more like the stock frequency of your CPU which in my case mine is 3600 megahertz or 3.6 gigahertz. It tells you the model of your CPU and the TDP. Go ahead and click back. Now for your GPU. So I don't have a GPU installed on my computer unfortunately because I built this for the intent of music production. Then after I switched gears and decided to go to tech and making videos, I still have yet to get a GPU. And unfortunately if I try to buy one now with the GPU market it might be harder because of the prices going up. Supposedly, they're supposed to be coming up with Ethereum 2.0, which I think you can't mine for it. So that would be nice to see GPU prices drop back down, which hopefully will, and then I will buy one. I just don't see the point of buying one right now and paying like twice as much for a GPU Why I can just be patient and wait and just use what I have. But anyways, enough of that. It tells you your GPU load percentage, tells you the temperature of your GPU, the clock speed. So if you're wondering, dang, his GPU is really running slow. Well, yeah, it's because I don't have a GPU in my computer. It also tells you your fans, how fast they're running. But of course, I don't have a GPU, so you won't see that. And if you click on it, it will tell you a little bit more, pretty much the same as the CPU would tell you. Go ahead and click back. It'll tell you your RAM load percentage. If you click on that, it tells you the capacity, how much RAM you have, which I have eight gigabytes of RAM. I plan on upgrading to 16 here real soon. Who knows, maybe eventually 32, but I see 16 gigabytes being ideal. You'll see the type of RAM, DDR4, the timings. In my case, it's 15. 15, 15, 36. Tells you the default clock speed, minus 1066 megahertz, and your current clock speed, which mine is 1067 megahertz. So go ahead and click back. Okay, now for your network, you might use this one, you might not. But if you click on it, it just tells you your adapter name, your network name, your IP address, 
and your connection name. Then also it gives you your network traffic, like of ups and down speeds. And I don't have anything really open besides Chrome, which I'm not using at the moment. So you might just see a little usage right here and there, but that's why it says zero. Okay, now this one I really don't ever see you guys using. But if you click on storage, it tells you the name of your drive. Also gives you the manufacturer, the data format, and also the capacity. And it lists all of the drives that are in there. And including USB devices, if you can see right here, there's my USB. It also tells you your top processes, which you can honestly just view, honestly, a lot of this in Task Manager. But this just gives you more, a little bit more information. And it's just a quick and easy way for you guys to see all of this in one simple location. Okay, so now moving on from the PC monitoring, you also have system specs, which this just tells you all the specs of your computer, which I would assume you know. But if not, it gives you a little bit more detail. For instance, the ones that I see more detail in is the CPU, which it tells you the code name. In my case, it's Picasso. It also tells you the socket type, which mine is the AM4 socket. Then it also tells you your, a little bit more about your motherboard that you might want to know, like the chipset. Obviously, I have a Ryzen, so that's the chipset I'm using. And then the BIOS version, which is more useful out of all of the stuff you'll find in here. And then the BIOS date. Now I'll go ahead and switch over to games. So I haven't gamed on this computer. I don't have a graphics card. I thought about it, but I might just wait till I get a graphics card. Because I don't know about trying to run a game on no graphics card and just integrated graphics. I don't want to stress out my PC that much. Then lighting. So this is where it will be useful if you have NZXT products, where you can control all of your lighting through the software. I'm sorry, I don't have a graphics card in here to show you guys what all is in the overclocking section, but you might be able to check it out yourself if you have a graphics card installed in your computer. Now go to cooling. Now this is another thing for if you have an NZXT product where you can look at your cooling, you'll probably be able to see your temperatures, your fan speeds, and be able to control maybe your fan speeds or control a bit more just through this application. Then power, this is for if you have an NZXT power supply, you can probably see what's drawing power, how much power it's using. And it might be helpful if you're trying to figure out if something's going wrong with your power supply or if there's some power issues going on in your computer. And then audio, I would assume this is for NZXT audio devices, which obviously I don't have any. I have, since I have no NZXT products in my computer, I won't be going in detail about the settings. So that's pretty much it, honestly. Hopefully you guys find this video useful. So if you end up downloading this and you find it useful, please comment down below. Let me know what your personal take is about it. Or if you don't download it and there's a reason why, or you think there's a better application than this, which I'm sure there is, just comment down below what the application is. And thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.